unanswered questions. What does it feel like to be a fish? What would it be like to fly? How many universes are there? How was the world created? Did the Big Bang really occur? Who are the first humans? What are we? Are we just creatures of the biological world? What are humans even made of anyway? Does anyone actually know the answer to any of these questions? The answer is no. No one knows the answer to any of these questions. Not your mom, not your dad, not your teacher, not even your best friend Chris. No one knows the answer. But that's what drives the curiosity to inquire and discover. Human nature is to constantly search for knowledge. We want every piece of information we can possibly get our hands on. However, the more we know, the less we understand, which makes us crave more knowledge. So what are we even made of anyway? I mean, no one really knows, but people have taken a stab at trying to find the answer. Scientists have found that our entire body is made up of many systems. Each system is made up of a few organs. Organs are made up of tissues. Tissues are composed of cells. Cells are made of organelles. And organelles are essentially made of enzymes and molecules. If we broke down enzymes, they would turn into proteins, then amino acids, and then molecules. But what are molecules? Molecules are actually just many atoms. That brings us to our next question, what are atoms? Atoms are some electrons, protons, and neutrons. Now you're probably wondering, what are electrons, protons, and neutrons? And in the average classroom, the science teacher would just say, oh, those are the fundamental particles of life. It doesn't get more fundamental than that. But is that really true? The answer is no. The so-called fundamental particles get even smaller. Now wait a second. Let's back up a little. Just how small is an atom? If an atom were to be blown up to the size of a football stadium, the nucleus would be about the size of a penny. Pretty crazy, huh? Just wait, it gets crazier. Electrons are actually considered to be as fundamental as it gets, but protons and neutrons, also called baryons, can be broken down into these little things called quarks. There are six different types of quarks, up, down, charm, strange, top, and bottom. A proton is made up of two up quarks, each with a charge of two thirds, and a down quark with a charge of negative one third. If you add up two thirds, two thirds, and negative one third, you get three thirds, or just one. That's why a proton has a positive charge. A neutron is made up of one up quark and two down quarks. And if you do out the addition, the force is just zero. That's why a neutron has a neutral force, or no charge. That's the hardcore particle physics behind humans. But what else are we made of? That's right, we're also made of a bunch of characteristics. We can be intelligent, motivated, passionate, courageous, creative, enthusiastic, curious, ingenious, inspired, and the list goes on and on. Don't let any of these characteristics float away. So what are you made of? Only you can answer that question.